Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. It is collage day and I'm very excited because as you know, this is one of my most favorite days of the week. Um, I am doing the 52 week collage challenge by Marguerite Miller. Um, I will put a link to her channel, her YouTube channel in the description box below so that you can go to her video, watch what it's all about and, um, and you know, go to her shop if that's what you wanna do. She'll have links to that there. Um, you can also just kind of follow along with me if you just want to go along with the prompts that I'm using. They're all the same. It's just, it's kind of fun to print out, like I printed out her, uh, one of her digis, purchased it and printed it out. Or she also has the planners. I heard that they take a while to come, so, I, you know, it's totally up to you. I'm just using a regular old sketch pad. I got it for $5 at Michael's, so you can always do stuff like that too. You don't have to... Um, have the planner or whatever. So anyway, go check her out so you can get all the info there about it. Um, these are all my collages and I'm just going to, you know, kind of flip through because we are up to week, is it 19, I believe? 19, and I'm skipping some, but um, these are all in a playlist uh, in on my channel. If you go to my playlist, it's the Marguerite Miller. And so you could watch all of them if that's what you're interested in doing. So this week, I'm not sure which way I want to orient this. It's probably going to go this way. Um, I have, what do we have? <laughs> what do we have, Amy? It has been a day already and it's like 10 a.m. So anyways, <laughs> a portion of a food label or drink label. Portion of food label, drink label. I have the whole thing. This is from some limoncello, limoncello that um, my mother and father-in-law brought us from Italy when they went a couple of years ago. And so this is all I have left is the little label, but I thought it might be fun to use that way as a remembrance and then I have it and you know. So anyway, that's what I have for that postcard or letter or portion of. I have this postcard with the beautiful waterfall here. And then it says an advertisement. So I have, this is from my Ada digital download that's in my Etsy shop. And it's just all old um, 1800s, early 1900s uh, ads. And so I have that. And I also have, this is a portion of an ad because it hooked to this and it is California ostrich feathers. <laughs> And I just loved her with her ostrich feathers on and there's all these ostriches running down here. But I wasn't going to technically really use this as my only ad, I don't think, because I've cut it apart. But I might. I might just use, you know, that portion and this portion and it's one whole ad. So that's my ad. I can use either these as background or that one. Um, something with wheels. I found this awesome image of a quilt. Um, I have these kind of art magazines that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, let's see, I've got it right here. Under all my junk from doing the <laughs> that uh, junk journal we're doing. But it's quilting arts. And so it just has all kinds of quilting stuff in it because she, she gets these. Um, but she just thought I might like some of the images in there. And sure enough. Um, so this is my wheels on this carriage. But it's super fun because... There's all these old vintage like pins and just funny things like a little taxi and an, I think that's an elephant. I don't know, a baby buggy, just all things that she's like either probably stitched, um, you know, the pin part onto the quilt or yeah, you can kind of see there's some stitches here, here and there. But anyway, just super fun. I love that image. Um, money. So I cut out of a National Geographic magazine this money so i have little tiny bits of it and that that's why i have it on white paper so hopefully i don't lose it and then bonus is something blue and so i have this for background i also have a blue stamp so and we have the blue waterfall so i think we're covered i think we got everything so i'll set that there and we'll go ahead and get started i'm not really gonna i'm gonna just um go with you know these for background and stuff like that so i'm not gonna paint anything or do anything this week I'm just kind of going back to my original way I just didn't um this one I struggled with I'm not gonna lie and I know I've been saying that a lot they've been getting trickier and trickier which obviously I'm assuming is the idea um 
but anyhow, it, uh, it was a hard one to find all the, the pieces for that I liked and kind of went together, you know. I like to find stuff that sort of ties together a little bit when I'm doing these collages. Not that that's a necessity, that's just more me than anything. But um, yeah, I struggled a little, so I kind of just had to go with certain things as they were or whatever. But anyways, yeah, I am. Um, we took my daughter's car to get smogged, and if you guys know anything about me, <laughs> especially this year. I don't know what is going on, but I honestly, if you know the whole phrase Irish luck, well, nobody ever said if it was good luck or bad luck. Um, I'm going to tell you right now it's bad luck. And I think I've said that before, but anyways, if you've been with me for a while, um, took my daughter's car to get smogged and they couldn't smog it because their little machine wouldn't talk to the computer in her car, whatever. And so I got a hold of my husband. He's like, oh yeah, you have to take the radio out. <laughs> Why that is, I have no idea. So we take the radio out, my daughter and I, which is always an interesting idea. But anyways, um, then we pull back up and I tell her, yeah, so sorry. I didn't know you got to take the radio out for it to work. And it still wouldn't work. <laughs> so we're already late on having the car smogged, which is nobody's fault but our own, but we've just had a ton of stuff going on with my daughter's surgery and just all that, and I totally spaced it. And um, so now I'm going to have to take it somewhere to get it diagnosed to figure out why in the world its little computer thing isn't talking to their computer thing. So yeah, and then my son's um, face where he had that thing removed yesterday is sort of like kind of got a little pooched up spot again and it's like if that thing is coming back on his face I give up like I don't even know what to do now about that I just feel like it's sort of been one thing after another <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm tired so I think I'm gonna possibly want this a little bit smaller that also is in blue um I think but let me see what we can do here just by sort of placing some things this was the random part to me, was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the whole postcard part um, to go with the other prompts. But anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to have her across the bottom and sort of, you know, standing there. I do like her with the colorfulness of this because when she's on just this, she sort of gets lost, obviously, because it's the whole black and white thing. This says Mother of Invention Parts Sale. <laughs> I like that. So that could go like that. And then this California Ostrich Feathers. I just love that. I might end up... I don't want to come in that far. I might just tear some of this off because I don't feel like it's, you know, imperative to it. So I think I will just kind of do that. I don't totally want to cover all of that up. This is from my Regal Digi Digital Bell Mode. I like the blue being over there. Just sort of do this because it's not necessary to see the whole thing. And then we have our money. Do I want to tuck it behind and just have it like hanging around? I just don't think I love this the way it's the way I did it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Um, let's see. I like this. I like this setup like this. But I don't know what to do about the rest of the ad. Maybe I'll just use a different ad. I do like that because it's just kind of funny. But 
I love those ostriches down there. That's just hilarious. I mean, we could do something smaller, like, you know, these spring suits or something like that. That way it wouldn't be... I just realized my printer put lines through parts of it. So I need to clean that. I think I'll just use this spring suits one. It's a sale on spring suits. A whole, what is it? Four to $25. wonder what the one for four look like. <laughs> Put me there. Because that's kind of fun. I didn't mind the money on the corner. Uh, that's, you know, different. And I like the way it can come sort of over these like this. That's just fun. And we have our limoncello. Okay, so I'm going to start getting at least some of the background stuff glued down. These need to stay on the white paper where I can see them. Oops, that one. Okay, let me get an idea. What are they? I want it basically kind of out here, that one up there. So I don't want to move those a whole lot from where they are currently located. But I do want to ink them a little. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I did not say that, and I apologize. Just um, complaining, you know, <laughs> just complaining. <laughs> Having one of those days where I'm just complaining. Uh, I just sometimes get like, okay, I'm just done. <laughs> I am just done. I just want a day where I can stay home and get some stuff done here. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I know everybody wishes for that, right? But like, this is where I work. <laughs> I just want to get some <laughs> work and stuff done. I just feel like I'm running around all the time trying to do other things. But I know we all feel that way very often. Um, I think I'm just gonna ink it a little. I was thinking about roughing it up, but I think I'm just gonna ink it a little bit. lovely lady with her ostrich feathers so bizarre to me but okay <laughs> I can't imagine wearing all that stuff all the time I mean sometimes it would be kind of cool just to get all dressed up like that but I can't imagine doing that every day how do you ever get anything accomplished honestly wearing all that garb. I'm still debating on, I guess I'm going to go ahead and keep the whole thing. I do like the quilt. I don't think I'm going to glue down the edges entirely just because I'm not sure if I'm done with what I just have so far, I'll glue down all the edges on the back stuff, but okay, now that I have the <gasps> fuzzies from my inker all over. Okay, so that's going to go there. So yeah, hope you're all have faring better than I with the luck this year. I just want a break after, you know, well, you guys know my, my table fiasco. <laughs> it just seems like it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another. Get one thing figured out and then something else goes loopy and haywire. Okay, I want to see, did I go too far that way? I may have. So if I put this one here, this goes here. No, I didn't. Okay, I could even come over even a teeny tiny bit more, I think. Kind of need something down there too. I'm not sure. What?
little something or another down there. these. This is called Because cool. some of it's going to get covered, so I don't want the top of those flowers to get covered up. So I'll do this, because then it won't I keep wanting to turn that on the super jaggedy side. Okay. Like that, because I like this part. A little bit darker. Definitely got our blue covered. have a lot to talk about just the just the chaos of life really that we all endure right I mean I, I really can't complain my daughter's surgery went fabulous and that that was a that was a biggie that needed to go the right way so I think I'll go like about like that and I'll have the money up on the corner so do I need anything else up there maybe when we stamp or whatnot at the end and I need to find a place for the lemoncello sticker all the way from Italy <laughs> it's always fun I didn't get much of the lemoncello my husband really liked it I did taste it. I don't, I don't really drink much of anything. I mean, every so often I'll have like one beer or a glass of wine. I'm just really not much of a drinker at all. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's not going to fit great there, is it? It needs to scooch down a little. So we're going to have to make sure we get this all in the right spot. Okay. I think I'll glue the money to the corner just so that I can definitely tell how far we need to go there because I really like it when it goes over the edges like that oh you know what another thing I thought might be fun is to just do some little slits and poke in that other money the littler pieces so let me do that before I glue it down because once it's glued it's glued sorry I'm shaking everything okay Let's see, got a few loose ones. I thought I had one more loose piece of money. Uh oh, see, told you I'd lose it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I just thought it might be kind of funny to have it. I don't know if you'll even really be able to see it really great, but we're gonna try, because it sounds fun. So just like a little slit in the magazine here. Maybe I'll do this one since it's missing a corner. We can poke in easily. Did I cut it? Yeah. Not far enough though. I think it a little. All the kooky things we do, right? Because like nobody's even probably gonna see these. You can kind of see them. My glue. Keep thinking every day. I think I need to take that and get it in some hot water, and then, you know, turn on the camera and. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I need to do that. It's like getting all the other pieces together that I guess are far more important and take my attention. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll stick this one kind of out over here more so that you'll be able to see it more. It's a funny little green pocket knife. Looks like it's got a very fancy kind of a handle on it that's um, some kind of green stone or, you know, something like that. Cut all the way through. I'm stinking at this today. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Just put a little glue here. Oh, I'm not talking very loud today. I'm sorry. Uh, I stink at this whole talking loud. <laughs> I'm just not a very loud talker to begin with, so I hope you guys heard me. And I probably do tend to mumble quite a bit when I'm thinking and doing these things. Um, I think I'm going to cut around this one right here. That should be long enough. I like that I did that one over there upside down. That's kind of funny. I didn't even realize it until I did it, but yeah, just so it looks like it's falling. The money, the money wagon, the invention money wagon or something. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> okay, and this little clump we'll put somewhere else. I don't know. Find a spot. Yeah, that was in a National Geographic magazine. So definitely check your magazines because they can be very handy for ideas and things. Okay, this is going to go here. We have to fit our money. So we're going to go, let's take it over just a little bit. And then... This will go here, and I want to take it down like that. Hold this straight. The ostriches. Oh, I do want her to come over on closer to the waterfall, though. And our lemon jello. I'm not sure whether. I think I might have to take the little ribbon off because I don't think that'll work. Very well. I could just make it like shorter and cut some of it off just so it's not, I don't need it to be this big. It's not necessary. Oh, it's very quiet in my house today. <laughs> my kids are, my son's at school taking a big, ay ay ay, uh, <laughs> um, what do you call it? Calculus. AP calculus exam for the end of the year. Huh. That would be making me like pass out, but he's good at math, luckily. But he was even this morning like, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> so anyway, but that's where he's at. Poor guy. My daughter went to get lunch with a friend. She's doing something fun, at least, right? I mean, I am too. I'm hanging out with you guys. My poor husband's at work, but that's why he got to drink all the limoncello. <laughs> okay. I do like a little, little bit of red and the green and all that. It all kind of works. So I think that's good. I am going to ink this just a little because I can't, can't abide these white edges here. It's too much white happening. Yep, that's how we're going to do it. That's it. Oh, we need our ad. Huh, I almost forgot my ad. That'll go there. And then I might put this little blue stamp and this money. Something like that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to glue this one down up there behind. It's 
strings, glue strings. Okay, let's try to figure out where this is straight. Because I would like to see some of this money hanging out the top up here. And then I need to put glue on that stamp too, and I didn't. I didn't ink that, but it's kind of patinaed already, so I think it's fine. Not really necessary for the blue stamp, but that's okay. Let's get these all down. That's really cool on the back of there too. Yeah, there's some neat images in that um, quilting magazine. Oh, Jules, you scared me. She came in. She likes to um, scratch on the, the boxes that I keep stuff in. I've got a bunch of them on the floor because I was working on that junk journal yesterday, and I have just stuff everywhere for that <laughs> that I want to use. So, but anyway, she likes to do that on those. And it doesn't really hurt them, so... I figure whatever floats your boat, right? Okay. Oh, and I went and glued that all the way down, even though I said I wasn't gonna. Oh, it's stuck on my finger. Okay, I want to kind of get it up as high as I can and still have the money visible. And I just realized there's a big glob of glue on the end of that right there. I need to get that corner glued so it's not grabbing everything. Too much glue. Shocking. Okay. No, I didn't get that very flat, did I? Didn't get the glue everywhere either. That's good. There we go. And our lemon cello. I'm going to go ahead and use some art glitter glue because this is kind of a weird... Um, it's kind of a weird, um, glossy tag thing, so, and then this is also kind of glossy. So it looks like a wax seal is not wax. It's a sticker of some kind. Got our carriage with wheels. That's all stitch, all stitching that um, carriage. I'm sure that piece is amazing in real life. Okay. And this is gonna go here. I'm gonna go ahead and use our glitter glue for this too, just because it's thicker. I want it to stay. This is for my friend Lori. Thank you, Lori. I'm using I'm using one. I'm not hoarding all of them, just most of them. <laughs> Picturesque waterfalls in the heart of the mountains. Very nice. It's something over here more too, huh? Maybe I don't want to glue that down entirely yet. Let's see, what do we want to put over there? We could put the custom ostrich farm bit. Or Coston. It's not custom, Amy. <laughs> I can read, I swear. It just doesn't appear that way.
this um, ostrich farm one is out of the same book where I got the other ads to make the Ada Digi. They're all, I think it was 1906 is what that one was, that book of ads. Ah, got that glue everywhere. And then I got a big old glob of ink there. Let's use our... It's like, it's like Jenga around here. Don't move anything because everything will come tumbling down. It's so funny because I had it all just all nice and cleaned up and it stayed that way for about three days. <laughs> And then I started, you know, this new project with this, um, the junk mail journal and just was pulling all manner of thing out yesterday and the day before. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. So we'll put this here. I like her against the waterfall. And I kind of feel like something needs to go there too, but I'll work on that in a minute. At least we got the important, all the parts that we had to get down, down. Here's a, let's miss a spot. edges and corners and things down. <laughs> Stay down. Okay. I want something up in there and I don't know what. Um, oh, we need our number. That might be a good thing to put right there. Number 19, huh? Just knocked my light right in the way. 19 could go right there. We're gonna put a little something behind it though. Let's see. How about this is kind of different. <laughs> it's the bottom of this oddly shaped little jar. But it's got that same bumpiness that um what do you call it? Like mason jars have. Everybody keeps telling me to put my stamp at the edge of the block. It's like, yeah, I just forget it because I'm a ding dong. And now I did do it at the edge, but it's still bumping up here. Oh, I still got it. Hey. I don't know why I like those like that, but I do. So. Okay. Glue's starting to get clogged. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll have to go take my daughter to have her car looked at in case we have to leave it there for a while. Otherwise she could just go do it, but. And figure out what's wrong with that now. Do you ever feel like you're just hemorrhaging money? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh. You think when your kids get older and like they have jobs and stuff like that, it's like, oh, it'll get better. It's like, mm, not really. Not really. I mean, they're super good kids, so I help them out however I can. No problem. No questions asked, but it's just sometimes. 
I kind of think this might be fun up here. Just a little piece of it. I need some ink or something though. It's too, too white. I mean, some white's good, but. I have this, which might be kind of fun. It's a half dollar stamp. More money. Since we're speaking of hemorrhaging money. <laughs> I got these from the school when I worked there. I think I've talked about it before, but if you're new, um, they were throwing out all that kind of stuff, all their stamps for, you know, like counting money and their little funny money and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I'll take it because I can use it for this kind of stuff. Let's see, what are we at? We are at May. Wow. May. Just gonna make it morning. That's not it. This one. shaking hands so you can't even see the fourth but you can see the may so that's good and i will sign it so that is that another one in the book for the record all right that took me about 36 minutes that's not i mean it's, it's a while you guys are probably ready to go <laughs> so i hope you have an awesome day and um, hopefully you're not hemorrhaging money like i am <laughs> And I'll be back again tomorrow with more of the junk mail journal. I love you guys. Thanks for all your kind comments and support. I so, so appreciate all of you. And I hope you have an awesome day. Chat later. Bye.